Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, my name is Christiana. I've been meaning to do this channel for a very long time. Kind of when I was in second year stroke third year. I actually did start recording in third year but editing mm -mm, like it just takes forever. Like I've got so much footage on my computer that I just haven't edited. But um, yeah, edited. Yeah. But um, anyway, um, this topic is for people who are in university or people who are going into university and the reason why I'm doing this is because I would have preferred to have known some of the things that I found out like through weird conversations or later on in uni I wish I had known before going into university so this is just a bit of an advice for some people who are going to uni like not everyone's going to take it on board so be it it's just for me to kind of give my little I don't know help I guess so I've written a few things down for a while and yeah I guess I'm just gonna say them now so um yeah going into university there's a few things that people kind of forget what uni is about and it's kind of building yourself and kind of knowing yourself more than anything like you're away from home you're on your own it's kind of, I'd say, more to elevate yourself more than anything because at the end of the day, in uni, when you leave, you're going to be going to the real world. So when you go to the real world, world, you kind of need to take the things that you've kind of adapted and kind of elevated yourself with in uni. You're going to take it to your workplace. So in terms of that, I'd say kind of learning about yourself, kind of knowing what you like, what you don't like, what you can entertain, what you can't entertain in university. And I'm speaking in general, so like, whether it's like smoking, whether it's like um, drinking, like the friends you hang around with and all of that, um, just kind of be very wary of what you kind of do. Like I'd say, do not do things in uni when you know you're gonna stop, if you're gonna go back home. So that I talk about like smoking weed or like, I don't know, drinking excessively or like whatever you know that you just can't do at home. Like there's no point in picking up habits. Like you're just kind of living double life. And don't get me wrong, everyone kind of falls off uni. Like everyone falls off for a bit. Like whether it's like something you'll never, ever, ever, ever thought you would ever do in a million years. So for like Christians going to the club or something, like... I won't discourage it but everyone will do it like it's not like I'm trying to point fingers or anything like everyone's bound to go out if a friend's having a birthday and it's the club well depending on your friendship or whatever you're gonna have to go or I don't know how you're gonna break it to them but everyone goes one point in their life but like one thing that I just don't make things a habit if you know like they're not for you because breaking off from it it just doesn't make any sense but um going on to other things don't deceive yourself like if you're not about something in uni like hanging around with people who aren't you or people who don't motivate you to do well kind of break off from all of that like it might not be easy in that instance but when you kind of move with people who will bring you up you'll see like second year third year like where the people who've been doing the bad things where they are and where you you'll be with the people who have always been focused on what they aim to achieve or whatever um kind of be the best you no know, be the best type of you so by that I kind of mean know what you want to achieve set yourself some standards so like when I first got to uni I set myself a five-year plan and I kind of wrote, 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 yeah, whatever. I kind of wrote some stuff down. No, rip. Okay, forget that. Anyway, I jotted some stuff down of what I wanted to kind of achieve within the next five years. So it kind of varied. I'm in process of some of them and I've kind of undertaken some of them. Um, so kind of do that. It kind of motivates you to achieve and not to forget your goals. So in my uni room, I kind of stuck loads of stuff around my walk in, which always reminded me every time I walked into my room, I'd see it and I'm like, okay, cool, I've got to do this or this is what I'm working towards. 
Um, by doing that, it kind of simplifies what you have to do when you get out of uni. In this instance, I'm talking about gaining work experience. Like, they won't tell you that you have to gain work experience, but for, from, like, talking to people in the outside world, like, they'd always say, oh, the hardest thing is trying to look for a job and not having any work experience. Build yourself up in getting work experience because experience is so key. Um, sorry. But experience is, like, key. Like, I can't even... I can't stress how important it is. Like, where I am today, I'd say it's kind of because of all the other work experience I've got. Like, you, grades sometimes don't mean anything. It's literally dependent on the experiences that you have. So literally, talk to everyone. Like, I'm not even playing talk to everyone because you don't know who knows who or the person that that person knows. Like, everything's connected. And when I say, like, People used to say, oh, it's about who you know. I always thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. But literally, honestly, like I'm starting to believe it. It actually is about who you know. So whatever you do, kind of summer, like if you have little Christmas holidays or whatever, literally do not waste your time. Like fair enough, you can see friends. You can see them any other time. Like you can always make time for things whenever you choose to like there's always time for everything so I'd say take the time that you have like long blocks like our Christmas was like a month and a bit or way long like I did work experience and I didn't just do the compulsory one that was required from uni I still went over that and carried on doing other work experience because I know at the end of the day it's going to benefit my life and not just you know my course sort of thing so yeah literally if you kind of need anything or need any like one to kind of support you in that aspect you need to have like career systems like who you can talk to people who can look at your cv or whatever you can all do that and um, i'm gonna write a few like points under this video thing so you can kind of look at websites or whatever like field that you're in um i can jot a few links or ask people to kind of give their inputs and stuff um yeah so networking networking was also a very 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 good thing um i went to my first networking event through one of my family friends um in first year who actually linked me to my first work experience within the event industry i'm yeah very event cultivated and yeah that's what i want to do i want to be a wedding planner um yeah so networking events literally doesn't matter if it's not your field or whatever go to it because some people they do go to networking events and they know it's not what is for them but there's a lot of people who will come and they're all linked to different things and then they get talking and voila beautiful things um save money i wish 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 that i saved money because like meeting people in second year and they're like oh they're gonna go traveling after uni like will their friends have saved money in first year I had so much money that I actually could have saved like I didn't need all of it um so literally save for I don't know save for something more beneficial or something more substantial to your life so say if you wanted to do something after uni you wanted a break you can do that before you kind of jump into the real world or you could, I don't know, save up for a car, you can, it's literally up to you, but it's just so you don't have that restriction of, okay, you finished uni, you don't have no money, you're looking for a job. You don't want to be in that dead end, and that's what I never ever wanted to do. I did save money, so, and I've used it for certain things that I wanted to personally do with my life. So yeah, save money, that's key. I'm going to probably write like the main subheadings of everything that I've said. Um... It's working about um, learn about yourself. Okay, educating yourself about yourself. Like, that is so key. Um, like, your degree is not going to be enough. Like, you kind of need to gain common knowledge or common sense, I'd say, rather, than just what you've learned in your course. Like, some things that I've learned in my course, it's just like, well, duh. Like, okay, so I'm paying this much to learn this like after lectures and stuff you learn 
Oh, my screen just went funny. After lectures and stuff, you kind of go home, you do whatever you have to do. You kind of learn a lot more from what you were doing in lectures. Like, lectures could be, like, two hours, three hours, and then that's it. Like, the whole other hours that you have during the day. It's all a learning progress. Like, whatever you do, whatever you choose to do, make it wise. Like, literally, like, I knew I wanted to get into the events industry. So every little thing that I could do relating to events is what I was kind of making sure I was focused on even though I was also working as well um yeah so your degree is never enough work experience I wish I could draw like a star or like yeah that is key to me just make sure you kind of do whatever you have to do to make sure you get to where you want to get to talk to people and yeah okay so let me talk about this quickly um and make sure you talk to people. In uni, sometimes I kind of felt lonely. Like, I was just like, oh, I hated uni. I wanted to drop out. And I just felt like I didn't have, didn't have anyone. Um, make sure you kind of take little breaks to go home. Kind of refresh yourself or do something fun. Go to church. Like, for a while, I in first year, I don't think I ever went to church. Like, I remember watching it online. But to go, it was just such a myth. Um, second year I started to go more third year I went a lot so kind of make sure from first year you kind of find a place where you can kind of belong a sense of belonging is always good so find a church or find someone who can motivate you to go to church not everyone's a Christian or whatever but just kind of find things to kind of motivate you and keep you going or have someone to like oh hey I'm having this problem or did it kind of always have someone to kind of talk to I'm so upset that this video is going longer than I actually expected. I didn't want it to take forever. But, um, yeah. Also, at the end of this, like, little thing, I'm going to write a few Bible scriptures that you can kind of read relating to however you may be feeling. Just kind of refer to that and keep praying. And one thing I've noticed about, like, Christians in uni, not everyone, okay, majority of the people that I know, you might be strong in Christianity before you go to uni. Sometimes you can fall off because of things that are always around you. But one thing you should always kind of remember, kind of find people who are in the same element as you. Kind of find people who are Christians or people who can kind of link you onto the path of staying on track rather than falling off or, I don't know, like just falling into somewhere where you don't want to be or falling into a dark place, I don't know, literally just keep at, just keep at it, like literally don't give up, keep praying, um, and another thing I'd recommend is a self-development journey, I kind of started that in second, ending of second year to third year, and it was very good, like it kind of allowed me to see and open up myself, more to myself, it wasn't for anyone, it was just for me. Kind of allowed me to explore who I kind of was and what I kind of liked and what I didn't like. Um, and I think it all started from when I was travelling in, in in America one summer. I just kind of saw so many things that it just opened my eyes and I just felt like I was being selfish about the things that I had. And I didn't actually appreciate, appreciate them the way I should have. So, yeah self-development journey whatever you feel like is bad or it's not helping you find a good aspect in it you might not but like the more you kind of think more positively positive yeah when you have a positive mind um you kind of i don't know lift your own spirit and when you are able to do that trust me it's by far better than having to always call someone or like oh hey da, da, da. like you're able to answer your own questions and god would also always see you through everything like literally um yeah so thank you for watching and i apologize for it being so 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 long but yeah i hope you have a great time in university and make every single second count like it's one of your best moments in life but i'm signing out and stay tuned for more videos and yeah have a nice day bye everyone